I might be able to fool all the people some of the time or some of the people all the time, but the truth will come out. Keep the prices here and see what happens to you, Hedgy. Imagine Wall Street predatory shorts attacking a theater company like AMC into the dirt for 24 months while the mainstream media distorting the truth and SEC Gov watching it all happen. Just to see the failing theater company's competition go bankrupt while the, while the actual failing company thrives. It's crazy how much negativity has been spoken to AMC over the past two years. And honestly, I haven't really heard that much negativity talked about Signmark at all. But look who has a billion dollars in the bank and look whose company just filed for bankruptcy. In chess, you don't tell opponents your moves. On sports, you don't relay the next play. In war, you don't signal the strategy. Yet some keep asking Adam Aaron to broadcast every single move. He's demonstrated good leadership over time. Trust the process. AMC ape. Ape's not leaving. That's a really good point here. Even me as an investor, sometimes we do get a little bit stir crazy. We want things to happen today. We want to hear exactly what's going on. But we have to realize that Adam and the team are working nonstop behind the scenes, making moves, making major, major moves, playing 3D, 4D chess. And we just have to believe that greatness is around the corner. First up, we have a few new tweets to go over. Big facts, stay the course, AMC, AMC squeeze. They didn't warn you before the 2008 crash. They also didn't warn you before Enron went bankrupt. They didn't warn you before Toys R Us went bankrupt. They didn't warn you before Sears went bankrupt. They didn't warn you before Madoff ripped off people through his Ponzi scheme. They didn't have your best interests in mind. They never have in the past, so why would they now? They never will. The only time they care about your money is when it affects their money. If they're trying to warn you about something, it's not about protecting your money. It's about protecting theirs. Don't give in to the FUD hodl. Now I have to admit, this is probably one of my favorite ways I've seen this explained. The FUD over the past year, year and a half now, has been extremely, extremely heavy. And at times it comes in heavier than other times. And right now, the FUD is very, very prevalent. They're trying to get retail investors to sell. They're trying to do whatever they can to get you and I to sell our shares. Meanwhile, the shorts are loading up on more short positions in order to try to profit off of selling our shares. Guys, they want us to do things that makes them more money. They don't care about your or I's money. 